Hello everyone, this is Mr. P. On today's lesson, we're going to take a look at literary devices. Onomatopoeia, personification, simile and metaphor. So, first of all, what is a literary device? Well, in literature, any technique used to help the author achieve his or her purpose is called a literary device. When employed properly, the different literary devices help readers to appreciate, interpret, and analyze a literary work. So, let's analyze onomatopoeia, when a word's pronunciation imitates its sound, like buzz, his, beep, fizz, click, vroom, woof, boom, and zip. Let's take a look at some examples. Meow. Buzz. Click. Knock, knock. Tuk, tuk. Beep, beep. Woof, woof. Zap. Zip. Boom. So those are examples of onomatopoeia. Now, let's define personification. An inhuman item is given human characteristics in their description. Personification is not used to describe people, obviously. Personification is used to describe an animal or an object. For example, the leaves danced their way through the lawn. You can see the leaves dancing. Well, usually, not usually. Actually, never leaves dance, right? Only humans dance. The next example. One look at the garden, and you could tell that the plants were begging for water. Well, plants don't beg. Humans do. Next example. And this is an example taken from Romeo and Juliet by Shakespeare. The earth hath swallowed all my hopes. And that is, in modern English, the earth has swallowed all my hopes. Well, humans swallow, not the earth. Next one. My watch told me the time. Well, your watch does not speak. Only humans speak. Another example. The wind whistled throughout the day. Well, only humans whistle, right? Like me, not the wind. Let's take a look at the next literary device. Simile. A simile is where two things are directly compared, and as or like is usually used to compare. So, as or like. Whenever you see as or like, that's a simile. Like in our examples. He slept like a log. Like a moth to flame. Another example could be, he eats like a horse, or I work like a dog. So, we use like. Other similes. She's as cute as a kitten. So here we have as. Canada is cold as ice. I'm becoming blind as a bat. She is as sweet as sugar. So you can see as on the right hand side and like is used on the left hand side. So the next device, metaphor. A metaphor also compares two things, but it does it more directly without using as or like. So let's take a look at metaphors for love. Once Mother Teresa said, love is a fruit in season at all times and within the reach of every hand. Another example. Love is a dog from hell. And was said by Charles Bukowski. Another metaphor of love. Love is a journey with water and stars, with drowning air and storms of flower. That's Pablo Neruda. And last, 
but not least, love is a disease and disease knows no laws. Turgenev. So, let's do some exercise. Now, say whether the sentence is an example of an onomatopoeia, personification, simile, or metaphor. You can use O for onomatopoeia, P for personification, S for simile, and M for metaphor. So pause the video and tell me your answers. Let's look at the key now. Number one, simile. Number two, metaphor. Number three, onomatopoeia. Number four, personification. Number five, metaphor. Number six, personification. Number seven, metaphor. Number eight, onomatopoeia. And nine and ten, simile. So that's it for today. If you have any questions, uh, please post them under the video. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, please do. If you liked the lesson, hit on the like button, please. And if you want to share the lesson with your friends, you may. Until next time, bye-bye.